Hi everybody. Okay, this is my friend's mark. It's his glasses case. Um, I'm stamping on it with, I don't know what ink that were. St stays on, black, I think it were. It's the one that doesn't come off. And it's, <clears throat> oh, that's it, archival. Um, it It's like a very, 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 Na dark navy blue nearly black case that's what colour I think it is so I just took a chance and hoped that it would stand out and it did uh, these are PBOS Dino I'd like to know where that big thing of blue tag's gone um, been looking for that right Tim Holtz's stencil ignore the cogs I wanted to go all out and put little gems and cogs and all sorts on it did you say something then? Oh yeah, but it, it, it works, uh, uh, labour-y sort of works and he'd have to keep putting it in and out of his pocket and it, it'd, it'd get wrecked and I didn't want him to not want to use it. And I know it's a bit flamboyant, shall we say, but, well, is that the right word? Flamboyant? <laughs> it is a little bit. I did sort of keep it down as much as I could, but he, he loves it. He's seen it and he, he proper loves it. Uh, right, so I stenciled on it the best I could. Did a very, very weak stenciling on the outsides, on the sort of not really checkers, but not the flamboyanty leafy scrawly thing. And then on the leafy scrawly thing, I dibble dabbled different ones of these diners in different places and went over the top so they could be five or six layers of different colours or similar colours just building it up and building it up and it makes the most beautiful colours um, at first you only see the mica and then when it gets thicker, you start seeing the colour of the paint itself. So there it sort of looks a bit all purpley. Uh, but then it starts pinging, shall we say, with different colours. Uh, that's about all I did. I just kept going over it and over it. Oh, I think I did a little bit of... I don't think I recorded that. I did a little bit of a wide shadow around it to separate it from that first pattern I stamped on it yeah I don't think I did record that um, have you found it in oh no sorry uh, but I did it with a dark grey pit pen and that is one of the jewellery metal wraps and I used the inside of the case away just a tiny little bit just so I could snug it up inside oh I still need to glue that down before I give it in back and this is floor polish and I'll, if you're interested in doing something like this um, he obviously needs to use the glasses case um, quite a bit and I'll let you know how it do it was the hardest wearing, unscuffable type of varnishy thing that I could think of. It's meant for lino floors and hardwood floors. And I thought, well, you walk on hardwood floors, so it'd stand a bit of denting, if you will, and rubbing and scuffing. So if it starts to go a bit, I'll just give it another coat where it starts to go. Well, just have to see how it goes, but it's give it a lovely, not mega shiny, lustrous sort of gleam to it, hasn't it? It's very pretty, and that, I mean, just look at the colours, it's, oh. But yeah, he gave me his glasses to mend, because he was struggling, and they're not his glasses, them ones, they're not his. Uh, but he gave me his glasses to see if I could do anything with them to mend them and while he's, we're getting other ones and uh, I ended up decorating them on this case <laughs> and he loves them uh, yeah 
as soon as he can have it well he can have it back now because Mick's obviously photographed it uh, I'll let you know how it wears or doesn't wear thanks for watching take care bye wow